I'm Autumn. I'm Kimberly. And I'm James, and we're Camper Size Living. On today's video, we're gonna take you all inside the camper for part of the renovation process. And at the end of the video, we got a couple pieces of big news to share with you. We're also going to announce the name of our new truck that you guys all voted on. And then we are gonna share our summer plans with you. We're switching it up a little bit this year. Going someplace we've never been. Stick around and you're gonna watch the hours and hours and hours of painting. Days. Watch paint dry. <laughs> you're gonna watch paint dry. It's gonna be fascinating. You're gonna love it. Days. <laughs> Right. Work and tearing and throwing and painting and sanding and okay. painting. Hi, maybe y'all, we're gonna show you how to do a renovation. That's okay. probably what you're gonna put in there, isn't it? Come along and you'll get a sneak peek on how the renovations are going so far. Seems like we've done this before. a lot better quality stuff than uh, the gray wolf was. Real wood. Real wood though, not that paperboard stuff that they had in the other campers. So it's kind of sad to see it go, but we're gonna put something much nicer up there. Something much more suited to our home. And as you can see, I am about halfway done with the kitchen part with the primer. It's a job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm out here and I'm I have my little messy kind of workstation. Painting all the cupboards with the primer and then we're gonna paint them with the actual color later. And then over here is where I put them all when they're done. I have did a lot yesterday. And that's our trash pile. It's very scary that the trash pile where he just spears everything out is right by where my head is. So it's, that part's a little nerve wracking, but it's fine. <laughs> all right. I don't know how to end this, so peace out, sauerkraut. Okay, y'all. Kimberly has been painting all day, so she's not wanting to be on camera. There's her eyes. Hi. <laughs> but we have not painting, but priming. So this is the new rig here. And uh, we're almost done priming. I got to roll this up here. And I really want to put her and Autumn on camera, but they are not you know, camera ready, uh, because they have done most of this on their own. Um, I was gone for two days with the boys picking up a camper in Kentucky uh, with our sons, and they already had it stripped down and hadn't painted, but, uh, oh, here comes Autumn. There's Autumn, right there. Also not wanting to be on camera. Hi, Autumn. Nope. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, before we moved everything in here, we thought, what a great opportunity to get some uh, reno done. And so we've completely taken out the dinette and we're gonna put a table here. And this window is amazing, great view. There was a bench here and a bench here and a table there out. We're gonna put a couple chairs here. Contemplating something, maybe like a screen that comes up for editing, that'll probably be down the road. So we'll just make do with a table, two chairs, and then we'll put the office chair here and see how that works out. We're gonna keep the couch. It's really comfortable, it folds out into a bed, but we're gonna put some kind of a cover on it because it is pretty old school looking design, but it is in really great shape though. And then this cabinet was made for a square TV, as you can see. So our TVs, even our smallest one, is wider than that. So we're debating what to do with that. This came off the bedroom slide because we're gonna go with barn wood. So I'm thinking we'll do like that for a little added support, one on each side of that upper cabinet. That's probably what I'll end up doing so that we have the cabinet up here and the cabinet down here. And we're gonna cut this out and put 
our fireplace. But everything in here is solid hardwood. And the frame, it looks like is aluminum all the way around, just really solid stuff. The doors even feel, you know, of course they're a hollow core door, but they still feel uh, pretty solid as far as those go. Even the paneling is not super flimsy like it was in the other camper. Um, Autumn is working on her room. So she took the bottom bunks out. We'll see what happens, but I think she's talking about putting some kind of a chair that folds into a bed there so she can have uh, company over and then some kind of a console for her gaming and her schoolwork and everything there. And then her closet's there. Um, but we've got all the doors off. <laughs> so hard working, so hard working nonstop from morning till late at night. It's probably getting to be 10 o'clock or so. We were up late last night working too, huh? Mm -hmm. Doing a great job. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Pretty much perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but we can't wait to see how our room is going to turn out. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, she's got some good plans. Got to try and paint around there without getting paint on the refrigerator. And I don't really want to pull it out. I wish I could just pull it out, but I don't feel like doing it. So I'm not going to... Uh, if there's a little white paint on it, I guess there'll be a little white paint on it. Up in the bedroom slash bathing area. <laughs> Here's all the cabinet doors and the mirror for the deal there. We're getting this all primed up, ready to go. Can't wait to see what colors Kimberly comes up with. There was, if you saw our last video, there was a big cabinet up here, but again, over here where the TV plug-ins are was made for a square TV and so it just won't fit. We took that all down, probably going to end up with a TV in a corner and then put some cabinets up here on the wall to replace those and here is a quick update. We got the whole thing primed yesterday and now we are actually painting and check this out. Here's a little sneak peek. These closets are going to look amazing. Look at that. Isn't that luxurious looking? What's that color called, hon? Urbane bronze. Urbane bronze? Urbane. Urbane bronze. Sounds fancy. It's Sherwin Williams color of the year. Sherwin Williams color of the year right there. And you're seeing it here first on Camper Size Living. <laughs> that is gonna look awesome. What you doing, Autumn? Painting. <laughs> Everybody's out here painting away. Looking good, looking good. So got some more to go. Shablamo, look at that bad boy. Can't wait to see this all put back together. Here's a bunch of the stuff we pulled out of there. Lighting this place right up, huh, Autumn? There's Autumn in her room. <laughs> Working away. Construction zone out here. Hello. Hello. I brought you peanut butter and jelly on a hamburger bun. Thank you. So part of our renovation is uh, we've done a bunch of painting as you can see and we'll show you more of that later. We also are putting this tile backsplash and it's just a peel and stick by Room Decor self-adhesive wall tiles. It looks like just one package will do us. We'll put a link to these and all the other things that we use in the renovation. Um, in the description down below if you're looking to get those. This is what they look like and they come with a sheet on the outside. There's a sheet on the top and a sheet on the bottom. Okay, so fill off the top sheet. When you're starting on this side, the instructions, I think that they're written in by somebody that doesn't speak English because <laughs> some of the words aren't exactly right. But the main idea is you cut this side off. If you can see, this side has got the gaps in it. You cut that side off and start against your straight edge over here. Because then this side has like a place where the next tile sticks to between the tiles right here. Don't cut that side off. It'll make it hard to align. Cut this side off, get it lined up, and then your next one you can line up in there. And um, it kind of comes off, I think, a little easier here than it does the wall. So it allows you to kind of adjust it a little bit. Then we're just coming across here. Later I'll pick up some trim to run along this edge. Probably put some quarter round or something like that up in here. 
make it a nice finish. Have to remember, my microwave will be there too. Oh yes. So wherever the microwave is, it will put some trim. Yeah. But yeah, the microwave will probably be in front of most of this. But it looks like it's gonna look real good. Let's put some more up. This is the hard part. Mm -hmm. So the first row was pretty easy, but the second row you got to line this up and kind of overlap the gray here and here, and you got to line up this and that and this and that. So you can kind of stretch it just a hair if you got to get a little wiggle, but if you do too much of that, that's probably going to burn you in the end. Let's see, that's just a little off, but see it peels back off there pretty good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to trim this one. That's going in there pretty good. Just like a puzzle. Yeah, it's super easy. You should do your whole camper in this. <laughs> All right, I forgot to trim this edge off because we're at the end here. So I'm gonna come back and do that right now. Peel it back just a little bit. Now I gotta try and get it straight. I said I'll put a trim on here. Anyway, but would like it not look totally cattywampus. Go so put the scissors all the way across so you get that straight line. Straight-ish. Okay, I think that'll work. Make sure you don't get any air bubbles in there. It's looking pretty good, just like that. Looks good. Breaks up that white wall. Love it. One more row. We just wanted to do a quick update on how the renovation is going. When we start getting it painted, or maybe when we get it painted, we'll show you that and see what solutions we come up with for cabinets right here and then the cabinet and the living room as well. Hopefully we can help you out. If you got any questions about any of this or our experience with it, put them in the comments down below. We will do our very best to get back to you on it and uh, help you any way that we can. All right, so the big news, a couple videos back, we put out the names and you all voted and you voted big. When we were trying to figure out what to name this beautiful 1995 F-350 four-door dually, we put out- I think five. Five names? What were they? Ruby, Ruby Rosie, Rosie, Big Red, Clifford, Clifford and Totem. And Totem. There were several people that voted for, a couple that voted for Totem. I think like five. <laughs> like five, right? And then quite a few people voted for Rosie. How many Ruby. did Ruby get? Not as many My as talents. Autumn would have hoped. The two names that got the top votes were Big Red and Clifford. Big Red came in a really close second, but Clifford ended up winning. So yeah. meet Clifford, a red truck. <laughs> <laughs> Some people tried to play the middle ground and say, well, can't we call it Clifford the Big Red Truck? I think so. I think we could. I think we could, but when we generally so. refer to the truck, from here on forward, it will be Clifford. I don't know, I, don't know, I feel like there should be something grand, like, put, Clifford! Put, put, put like, like, tiny confetti cannons, but like, it's yeah. just kind of like, wimpy. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're happy with Clifford. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be putting some work into the Clifford this week actually. I got a whole list of things I'm not going to go through right now, but we're going to get Clifford ready for the road. The other big news, the biggest news, is our plans for the summer. We're going someplace we have never been before, not even close. We are headed to New Hampshire. New Hampshire to the White Mountains, right? Isn't it called yeah, the White twin, Mountains? The twin, twin Mountains. Mountains. Twin Mountains. Yeah, by Mount Washington. So I wonder if they're called twins because there's two of them. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Probably what? so. Don't put what? that in. Don't put that in. So going in. <laughs> nope. We really don't know anything about the area. We're we're just 
we're heading up there and we're going to find out we're going to discover we plan to go to all of the northeastern states all of new england if you remember on our map which now we have to get a new one for the new camper we didn't have any of the northwest or the northeast we had everything else okay so we are going to go do the whole northeast this year wherever we didn't have here and here after this summer we do the northeast after this summer we will only have 10 states left and that includes alaska and hawaii Woo! we're gonna have to bend the rules for hawaii yeah it's gonna have to do something because there's no campgrounds in hawaii that's a fun fact there's wow no camp <laughs> there may be campground really we don't know we don't know we'll find out though if there are campgrounds we'll go camping that would be All so right. much fun okay sorry keep going okay, we are headed to new hampshire and we are going to do camp hosting work camping once again the uh, ladies will work in the store and the office. the office and probably we'll probably all do some cabin cleaning and i'll be doing maintenance and really whatever they need yeah we're looking forward to it yep excited to also reunite with some friends of ours ron and steve you've seen ron in quite a few of the videos from two summers ago we're gonna have a great summer this summer so we're super pumped yes as always thank you guys so much for uh, coming along with us we love all the positive comments and encouragement we get and the ideas we're gonna put some of those ideas to work in the renovation so remember to like and subscribe and comment I knew there's three things. I was like, like and subscribe. Yeah, thumbs the, up. Okay. And thumbs up. Yeah, like the like is thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. We would love to hear your different ideas uh, for renovations, or maybe if you have like some tips and tricks as well for like little storage spots or anything like that. Because I know I need some for my room. Or <laughs> any musties in New Hampshire. Ooh yes. Musties, yes. Musties. 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 Must. Seas. Must seas. Yes. If you know New Hampshire or the surrounding area, let us know what we must see. Must see. Must see. <laughs> How do you deal with us? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to have a good day. We hope that you have a good day. Y'all take care. We'll catch up with you next time. Bye. Okay, I'm done.